Good morning, my beloved in Christ. So, it seems that the arrows of the wicked one, the fiery darts of the wicked one, keeps on being launched at me. Um, another open attack, um, public attack, um, mockery of um, me, my ministry, the word of God, the testimony of Christ in my life that I openly share, and um, just a blatant attack on the you know, a credential and the authority of the Word of God. It was, um, and I had this um, anger, I call it righteous indignation, where I felt like um, I'm going to confront it. And so I asked the attacker, I said, hey, who are you mocking? Are you mocking me and you're mocking the word and testimony of my God that he's given me, that he's done in me, and are you, or are you mocking the word of God and God himself, or all of the above? And, you know, the person says, all of it, all of it is foolishness, all of it is nonsense, um, uh, anything and everything that had to do with the book of Revelation um, was all nonsense, pure nonsense. And so I spent most of the day yesterday before all this uh, open attack ministering online, Facebook and YouTube, just uh, ministering, exhorting, building, warning, um, preparing the body of Christ, um, and just building the church up. Uh, I shared videos of um, a rhema word that the Lord gave me about a year and a half ago on like the oil of gladness. Because you love righteousness and hate evil, the Lord your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your companion. So I shared that rhema word, that video, to exhort the body of Christ. Just in case anybody wanted extra joy, <laughs> peace, hello, and because um, I always need it, amen. I don't know who doesn't, but um, so I shared that and I shared many other um, videos of prophetic dreams. Um, that the Lord has been giving me about the new world order, about wickedness in high places that are uh, working up, creating into laws to ban the Bible and uh, shoot down and persecute Christians, all who believe in the word of God. Um, right now, as we speak, you know, uh, Satan is working ferociously through like the LBGT, is that how you say it? LGBT, whatever. Um, organizations and others like them um, to ban the Word of God, to get rid of God and His people, all who would believe in the Word of God. So it was an open mockery, direct attack on our God, on my God, and the testimonies of my God. And I felt like David, um, before he went to um, face Goliath, you know, he was like, who is this uncircumcised Philistines who keeps on mocking our God and so that spirit just rose up in me and I'm like that's it I've had enough so I went and confront and um, the person um, confessed and professed that that's what he was doing and um, that me people like me Christians believers pastors whoever anybody that believes in the word of God and the word of God itself are fools and is foolishness that is not true, that is written by men and men that are flawed, men that are full of imperfections. So the word of God is not true and um, all of it is nonsense. So um, it hurt deeply and then they took it a, a step further that, you know, calling me and, and Christians, you know, pastors and anybody that believes and preach the word of God, you know, we're hypocrites. Um, that I'm pretending to be a saint and this and that. It was a personal attack. Uh, definitely the um, wicked, um, fiery darts of the enemy. And it pierced me and it hurt. So I went to bed wounded again. And so this morning I'm reading through um, this devotional and I'm like, this is what I need to do. And I believe that um, it, it will uh, speak to you as well. Because the Word of God tells us, you know, that... All who desires to live a godly life, who obey Christ, who follow Christ, will be persecuted. So it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of will. And it seems like for many of us that are on the front line, that's openly 
obeying um, the call of God in our lives, sharing, exhorting, building, warning, preparing, um, just responding um, to the calling of God in our lives. We're on the front line and they hate us. The enemy hates us. And so he's using those closest to us to hurt us. And I'm just like tired of it, you know, to be honest with you, I'm tired of it. So this word is timely for me. And I pray and I think it will bless you tremendously. We are calling for the fire. And this is what I've been calling yesterday and for the last couple of years. I'm calling down the fires of God to burn off all the dross in my life and to devour, consume anything and everything that is not of God. Every hindrances, every obstacles, everything sent by Satan, every snares and traps that the enemy has laid for me, I'm calling down the fires of God to consume it wholly. Amen. So this word was given by Dana Jarvis, November 24th, 2018. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God that answered by fire, let him be God. First Kings 18, 24. No matter what darkness is trying to surround, he is Jehovah El Elyon, the most high God. Hallelujah. Who is the God that answers by fire? Fire is the passion of our creator's heart. When he speaks, things take place. We are fire branded and commissioned from this most holy fire. It was God who branded this call into Moses by the fiery bush that never burned out. He showed up for Elijah before the prophets of Baal when he not only answered, but he devoured the wood, hay, and the stubble. Even the structures of men did not stand. The fire even devoured the water. Now that is the God we serve. Amen. As I write these words, I see a mountain engulfed in flames as it would have looked like Mount like with Mount Sinai. I see mighty flames of power and God's glory. I can even hear the sound of the fire crackling within my spirit. By the unction of the Holy Ghost right now, I say to you, stop playing around the edges of this and call out to the God who answers by fire. I took this word right here for me personally. It's like, I'm tired of dancing around this. I'm just gonna call down the fires of God. Judgment now, amen? He is the one who created the world in six days by his word, and he is the one who sustains it by that same word. Bend down low and find the stones of the altar again in the grass to lay down those things you carry and bring it to the altar of his presence. When he shows up, even the mountains tremble and bow down low. This is the God who answers by fire, and this is the God of all glory. Amen. I decree the fire of Almighty God to fall against all principalities, powers of the air, wickedness in high places, powers, thrones, dominions. Let it destroy every power of infirmity, emotional and mental wounds. Every poisonous arrow that has been launched at you and your family, I render it null, void, ineffective, powerless, and useless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I release the fire of God against the locust that has eaten away at the blessings of God. I bind and break the spirits of Ahab and Jezebel, speaking confusion into the ranks of the enemy. Your throne, O Lord, is like a fiery flame. You are our God that answers by fire. Let your fire fall. Let your fire be a wall of protection that surrounds us. Let the flames of revival flow from our lips. Shut the mouths of the lions and the false witnesses. Let them speak no more of your people. Lord, let the fire fall. Let your wind blow and let the glory come down and saturate us in this place. Let your holy fire consume our entire beings. We are calling for the fire. Be our clouds by day and our fire by night. Send forth your refiner's fire and burn up everything that is not of you. Amen. That's within us, outside of us, surrounding us. Let his refining fire burn it off. Burn up all the dross. Amen. Let us decrease that you can increase within us. 
Let us dare to draw closer to the flames of your fire. Anoint our hands with your fire. Let it burn in our eyes, our hearts, and our feet. Touch our tongue with your coal, your fire, to speak forth with authority and power in your name. Deliver your people, for you are our God that answers by fire in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That's by Dana Jarvis. I pray that um, you and I will continually speak these words in faith, in power, and authority of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and bring down every stronghold, every dominion, every power, wickedness, principalities, in our home, in our hearts, in our lives, surrounding us, in our churches, in our community, everywhere that we go, amen, that we would call down the fires of God to consume our enemies in the name of Jesus, amen, hallelujah. I gotta go, I love you guys, God bless you.